Hi, I'm Don from Shahan Drones On. Today I'm going to review this product. Yes, that's right, a black plastic and metal brick. Cool, eh? No, actually, what it is is a thermal printer, and it's actually quite cool. 127 bucks, unbelievable, and I purchased it myself. Not this isn't so this isn't sponsored or anything like that. Totally unbiased uh, review here, and I'll give you the pros and cons because there are some cons to this. But quick review: it's a portable unit, so it's battery driven, rechargeable, of course, wireless access. You can print things from your phone, which is basic the, the basic use case here, right? You, you're a contractor, you're on the road, you want to print a quick invoice off your phone. Boom, you can use this. Let's check it out. So here's what comes in this little box. You get the unit itself, and I'll show you a little bit more about that in a minute. This cool little travel pouch, although Frankly, I'm not sure why you'd use that, but it would protect it a little bit. A couple of charging cables to, uh, to charge it up and, and connect to your laptop if you're doing that. And this more or less useless quick start guide, <laughs> to be honest, it uh, kind of missed some important points in my opinion. There are good instructions in the app, so I'll show you that in a second. So let's have a look at the unit. Um, very simple. There's a power button here, a long press powers it up like that. You do need to charge it initially. There's a USB-C charging port there. I don't know, I think it took me maybe an hour to, to charge it up. So this is the input side if you're using flat paper. It goes in the, on that side. And this is the output side in whether you're using the rolled paper or the flat paper. It's got a serrated edge there if you're using the rolled paper because you do have to tear off that, that rolled paper. These two little buttons here open it up and when you first get this you do want to open that up and the reason is that the roll of paper that's that comes inside there is taped shut I've, I've already opened it up and tested it for you um, and so you want to take that tape off of the roll before using it which sounds simple enough except it's a little bit fiddly there is no physical way to get a roll of paper out of here unless you remove one of these little clips there's one on each end and kind of lift it out from one side. And then you can take that, uh, that uh, piece of tape off. Not sure how much is in this, this initial roll, which I've now completely screwed up. Um, but the replacement rolls come in seven meter lengths, which is, translates to 25 eight and a half by 11 sheets. Okay. You can get this in various sizes, which is why you have these weird little spacers. You can set the spacers to different spots in the printer and uh, that will you, you do that based on your uh, paper width. So the only catch is this accepts both letter size paper and a fourth size paper. And you need to know which one is which to select the right little slot and they're not very far apart. So for letter size paper you would fit you would select the 210 millimeter size the only catch is these things are <laughs> kind of fiddly to get back into place you have to select the right one so for letter size like i said you want that 210 millimeter one which is the innermost of those two little slots there you hold the spacer this way with those two little teeth there you tuck it in and Any luck, it snaps into place. Yeah, there we go. And then you take your roll of paper and stick it in. You've got it in the right spot if this thing barely moves back and forth. And that's that's crucial, actually. If you don't have it in the right spot, it's not going to print to the right spot on your paper. So and then you take that paper and just pull out just a little past the serration like that. You don't want to waste that paper. It's There's 25 sheets to this roll and it comes out to about 30 cents a sheet when you're if you're buying replacement paper so let's see how to use this for both a roll of paper that's in there and for flat paper so step one is to install the app on your on your phone or tablet you go to either the google play store if you're an android guy or you go to the apple app store and you look for the faux memo p-h-o-m-e-m-o -E app it's got this weird little red 
mushroomy kind of shape on it and install it basically. Okay. And when you do that, this is what the app looks like. So the first time you use the app, it will ask you to connect your, your device. You just turn it on and make sure your Bluetooth is on. It's a Bluetooth connection from your phone to your, to the printer and it will ask you to find and select the device that you want. Assuming you're, you've only got one of these things, it's pretty darn easy. So once you've done that, to print an item, you select the kind of media you are going to use. So in this case, I'm using the what they call is a large roll of paper, as opposed to a small roll, which would be like for receipts or labels or things like that. So uh, a large roll of paper, you can select A4 size or letter size. So I've selected letter size. If you're using the flat paper, you would simply select the single sheet paper down here and then hit it's selected. Now you have a variety of options here. The only one that really makes sense is document print. So you select that. Now this is, this is the curious thing. Unlike a normal printer where you select your document, say it's an email, and you're, you're going to uh, just print it out. You select the email, you hit print, and off you go. With this, you have to print your, your thing to a PDF file and then select the PDF from within this app. So the first step would be to select the item you want to print, say it's an email, and print it within your email application, say that's Gmail, and print it to a PDF and save it to your device. And then, you upload it into this Fomimo app by hitting this little button down here to upload it. So you go to upload, you hit local local files. I know it says Gmail there, but that doesn't work. At least I couldn't get it to work. You have to print it out into a PDF, print it as in, well, basically save it. So now what I do is I see a variety of files that I've, I have available to me. I'm going to select this one. You get a little preview of what it looks like. You can zoom it in. So this is the document I'm printing. It's an invoice for Don's training stuff. It comes to a total of $4 billion. So this will be the last review I ever need to do, which will be handy. And then there's a little print icon up here. There's also some settings that you can choose. You go to the print thing, it gets you all set to go and you hit print. So it's pretty pretty quick. I mean, it's, if you had 100 pages, you'd be here all day, but th that's not what this is intended for. This is really intended for quick little prints, one, maybe two pages at a time out in the field. So when it's done, okay, there we go, it's done. Now, this is the, the tricky part because you, you don't want to waste this paper. So you want to carefully rip it off like that. It, it can be done fairly cleanly. And there's what you get. There's my, my printed document. And you'll notice there's an issue. <laughs> it's like printing off the Dead Sea Scrolls here. Um, you can, I suppose, you know, figure out a way to kind of reverse roll it. But, and may, maybe all you need to do is, oh my God, it's, I'll tell you, it, it's a little tricky. But if you're going to give it to a client, for example, you might want to fold it into three and stick it in an envelope or whatever. And, and then it's not so bad. It's a printed record and people understand it's on a piece of thermal paper. All right, so that's the, the rolled, using the roll that comes inside here. So the replacement rolls are uh, come in, in lengths of 25 pages per roll. I saw... Uh, a set of four, so 100 pages on Amazon for $33 Canadian. So it comes to, you know, in the order of 30 cents a sheet to, to print this stuff off. So you don't want to be wasting it a whole lot, but it's not overly expensive considering that the actual printer was only 120 bucks. So let's check out the flat paper. So this is the thermal paper that I purchased. It's um, happens to be from the faux memo people, but there may be other brands that you can get. I don't think it makes a difference um, whether you get their brand or any other generic thermal paper. I picked the letter size because that works for me. I'm in Canada. If you're in Europe, you may want the A4 size. 
this particular package is 200 sheets and it was about I think it was around 20 bucks something like that and then inside there it comes in a plastic bag which unfortunately you can't open neatly but there you go so you take out one of these sheets if you're going to print on the flat paper and you'll notice that one side says this side is not printing side and I think we know what that means so that's the bottom when you when you put it in this printer Let's put this stuff aside so here, here's where this product becomes very fiddly. You can't easily go from the roll style paper to the flat style paper. You have to open this thing up, take that roll out, and if you, re which means you have to take that thing out, you then have to lift it up from one side, you have to put this somewhere so it doesn't do this on you, which it does, so I put it over there and then close it back up. Now, you'll notice that when there's no paper in there, it, this, the power light will be red. I'm not sure whether that shows up on the video or not, but it's, it's red. So next, taking two hands, you carefully feed this piece of paper into the slot at the back, and you just keep pushing it forward Until it engages, you'll hear the motor kind of wind up a little bit and the light will turn green. At that point, it's engaged and ready to go. Now, you'll notice that was a little bit fiddly. Now, I can't imagine doing that, say, in the front of your truck or something like that. But if you need flat paper, this is the way to go. So then you go back to your app, you hit print. And it fails. <laughs> kind of have to wait till it finishes. It thinks it's printed it, but it hasn't. So it failed. This And this has happened to me like every time I've tried it. It says printer is out of paper. Please install the consumables correctly before continuing with printer. View the solution. Okay. We'll try it again. We'll stuff that paper back in there. Okay. So this time you can actually see it sticking out the front just a little bit. And it's a little bit crooked, but I think it'll be fine. I'm going to hit print again. And this time it works. So I think the key is that you have to have a little bit of that paper showing. Even though it look, sounds like it's engaged, it might not be all the way. So that's pretty good quality print. And the key thing is with the flat paper, while the paper's flat, you don't have this crazy Dead Sea Scroll thing going on. Um, it's a little bit crooked because I didn't have it in there exactly right, but I think this is a lot better. It does say this side is not printing side on the back, which would be a little weird, but again, people are pretty understanding. All they really want is a printed record of whatever you're, you're handing them, in the case of an invoice, for example. Now I have this set to printing text, and as you can see, the text printing is absolutely fine. There's different levels of darkness you can select. Um, the logo up here you can see is, is not very great. This is the, the Gmail logo. If you wanted to print a picture, like a photo or something like that, uh, there, are, there is a photo setting and that would be slightly better. So yeah, in conclusion, I would recommend this product. The Foam Memo Model M832 Thermal Printer. It's portable. It uh, you know, does everything it advertises. You can print on rolled paper. You can print on flat paper, which is a little more fiddly, as I said in the, uh, when I demonstrated it. But um, pick, your, pick your poison, which one you want to go with, the nice flat paper that uh, is a little more presentable to a customer, or the rolled paper, which is way easier to use out of, out of this box. All right, so there you go. The Foam Memo M832.